it, the piece is called The Pleiades, The Seven Sisters, and it's based on a constellation uh, that's just sort of to the right of Orion. You can see it best in the night sky. And when I read that the theme for this show was the light gets in, I immediately thought about the heavens, I immediately thought about where we get light. And um, the sun is obvious, the stars a little less so. And I love the constellations in the night sky. And then uh, because these, these are used to grow oysters, the, uh, the sisters are surrounded by the oyster shells, all of which I collected on the beach over the last period of time as well. The paintings were taken from photos that I took of the sky. So one side is the day sky, the light coming up, and the other side is the moonlight coming through the clouds. She came up with this idea of doing these fabulous cranes out of window screen, which is just always, I love them. They're, they're quiet and peaceful and reverent. Janet asked me to come in and do a collaboration with her using lighting technology. So these are all done up above in LED solar uh, LEDs. So as dusk comes, then they all start to just gently blink. And basically you won't see anything else except the outline of the, of the birds. My piece, one door closes, another opens. It's all about finding the possibilities and the opportunities in life. Just because that door closes, doesn't mean that there's not an opportunity right behind you. You just have to change your perspective, change your focus. And being an artist and going through the ups and downs of the artist's life has allowed me to learn that. How does the light get in, to me, is all about compassion, patience, love, kindness, responsibility, honesty. And you have to find these in yourself. In a, so I used a key to represent that. And then on the ground, there's a keyhole. So this is a dinoflagellite flagellate piece that is, um, it's all, these are one cell uh, animal plant combinations that live at the bottom of the food chain in the oceans. The, this piece is called Double Vision. So the original thought to this piece was that I was going to have one side be seeing through the eyes of the pandemic and the social and political unrest. And then I was hoping that 2020 would be colorful and bright future. But as we know, it's we're still seeing life through the pandemic and through social unrest and political unrest. Um, the piece is made up with several different tapestries. Um, each tap tapestry is thought of as a virtual classroom. So I am an educator and this year has been very strange. So the light shines in in the way that even though um, all these kids that didn't know each other became these little groups, these little virtual classrooms. So all the colors in the pieces represent a different person and then how those different people relate to one another. We've had 75 artists over the years who have exhibited here. Uh, a lot of people are doing work that's outside of their comfort zone, so to speak. But the most important thing is that it's a free exhibit. It's unintimidating. You don't have to go to a museum. You don't have to pay. You don't have to go to a gallery that might be, you know, not in your normal realm. And uh, the people that just walked by here, I wish I had a clicker to count all of them. Uh, we were in the the uh, Fenway Park area, we're in the hospital zone, so we're near the tea stop. It's a perfect, perfect location for getting all these people. But now, with the light, not only will it kind of bring people to this piece, but I hope, or we hope, that it will really bring people to really look at the park and see that there's so many more things coming out of the darkness.